What is up everyone? Welcome back to another video today, and in this video I have another release reaction for InFlight 200 and 1 to 200 NG models for June of 2024. Figured I'd compile a bit of a larger release reaction here. Um, for the first part we're going to be doing our InFlight 200 releases, and then we're going to take a look at the NG 1 to 200 releases, which have been out for a little while, but since they usually don't get covered here on the channel, I figured I'd put them into this video. So I'm on the Waffle Collectibles website once again, and I'm pulling up the newsletter from June 3rd. So these have been out for a few weeks. There's some Herpa Wings arrivals in 1 to 500 and 1 to 200 scale, but I'm more focused on the in-flight 200 pre-orders. So let's see what has been newly announced from in-flight 200. First release, we have an EasyJet A320 Neo with that Neo sticker in the back. Then we have an Air Callan A320 Neo as well. Um, this one is not a special livery, I don't think. It might be, but I'm not too familiar with the airline, so I can't, I can't say with certainty that that would be the case. I got too many tabs open right now. I've been trying to monitor stuff, so I've got way too much open. We have an ITA A320 Neo, so we're going pretty heavy on the 320 Neos in this early June batch. We have a Lufthansa A321 in the new or current livery. And a TUI Netherlands 737 Max 8, and it's Netherlands because of the PH registration. Cathay Pacific 777-300ER, this one in the new livery or current livery as well, and this one is correctly spelled because I know there's that big meme where Cathay Pacific incorrectly printed the titles on one side of a 777. I remember seeing that on the Weather Channel so many years ago. And that's all the releases from early June, so let's go ahead and pull up some uh, late June announcements. Now, it's not loading correctly on the on the database for some reason. Let's pull up another newsletter here. Okay, here we go. This is just straight from the website. So first up, very nice retro release, Scandinavian DC-10-30, Sierra Echo-Delta Foxtrot Delta. Looks like it's got some stickers there on, on the um, engine. It looks pretty cool. Oh, it's like um flag. We've got the flags of Norway, um, Finland, and Sweden in there, I believe, as well. That's pretty cool. I'll just check just to confirm, but I think those are the three countries that they're representing there. Norway, Sweden, and Finland, I believe that would be correct. And then moving down, we have an Airbus A300B2. This is the same plane that I have in 1 to 400 scale from Phoenix models. So that'd be pretty cool to see. I have a Suriname A340-300. I believe that's the first time I've covered that airline in this series. We have a Luxair 737 MAX 8. I know for sure I've covered that a couple of times, mainly with Phoenix releases. Very nice. United 737 and 900. November 53441 is the registration. And of course, this is in the Carrier's Evo Blue livery. Moving along, got an Aerolinas Argentina 747 at 200. And we also have a Continental Airlines 757 300. November 57857. And we have a U.S. Air Force DC 10 30. This is in the high visibility livery. Um, livery that's not really associated with the DC-10, more of what I would associate with the 747, or what most people like to call it as Air Force One. That's pretty cool. I remember seeing a model of it at the um, Strategic Air Command Museum in Ashland, Nebraska many years ago. I wish I saw the photos on my old iPad, but that's not that one isn't working anymore to my knowledge, so if I'm able to retrieve the photos, I may make a video on it, but I may have to go back there one of these days. Volaris A320neo up next, and then there's a Sky Airlines A320neo below that. We have also another A320neo here. We have Latam up next, and then we have an Air Canada 747-200 in the 80s colors. That is very cool. I love the double red sheet line there on the fuselage. And then continuing down, we have some DC-10s up next. We have JA Airways DC-10-40, and then a Mexicana DC-10-10. DC now, I know that they got some DC-10-15s. I think they were one of, like, only a handful of carriers, maybe the only one, I think. Yeah, I think that they were the only one that got the DC-10-15, so maybe that. Another Mexicana release below that, a 727-100, and that is all of the InFlight 200 releases that we have for June. Very nice assortment of releases from the folks over at InFlight 200. So now, let's go ahead and head over to the NG Models website and check out their latest 1 to 200 releases that have been announced. They've been out for, I think, like a week or so at this point. But we're going to go ahead and take a look at them anyway, because that is what we do around here. I have seen some of these already, so these won't be like a genuine reaction, but I haven't gotten a chance to look at the full list just yet. 
Now, one thing I do want to point out real quick is that there is the NG Lite 747-100, the City of Everett. I was hoping this would be the first 747 release, and it technically is. However, the mold has gotten quite a lot of flack because there's some issues with the nose and all that, which, you know, I don't really care about that, to be honest. But it seems like NG already had this made, and they're just going to throw this out there to the public at a discounted price. So they are branding it as, like, NG Lite, which is pretty interesting. I may have to do a full video on that, but hopefully if I do find one of these at some point for a good deal, which should be around like $40, 40 45 US, I will be more than happy to pick it up and take a look for myself. So I'm also going to take a look at the 1 to 200 releases, which are being titled as NG June 2024 offers, um, not releases for some reason. First up, we have an Austrian 737-600 in the older livery, and there's also a prototype aircraft here. This is a 737 MAX 7. There's also another one as well, just with a different registration. Then we have a China United 737-800 up next. And then there is another one below that. This one just has a different registration, also has a letter in it, Bravo-209 Mike. We have a couple of Jet 2 Holiday 757s up next. Both of these are just with different registrations. One of them does not have winglets, by the way, 42036, which is the second one. I have a couple Trump 757s up next. I remember seeing these. Uh, there's one that has the American flag, which is the newer livery, and then one with the T on it, which is the older livery. And then we have a Delta Connection CRJ200. This is the Soaring Spirit, the Salt Lake City 2002 Winter Olympics special livery. They had it on a 757 and a 777 as well, and I know Gemini did both of those in 1-400 to many years ago. We have a British European CRJ200 up next, and then following that up, we have a Russian government Falcon 7X. There's also a, I believe this is a French government. Yeah, I want to say that's a French government Falcon 7X as well. I have another government plane. This is the Egyptian uh, Arab Republic of Egypt Falcon 7X. And there is another one below that, this one just with a different registration. We have a blank 737-700 for 1 to 200 collectors, only at $63.99 MSRP. And that is all the releases that we have for this re release reaction video. Pretty solid assortment here from NG with the 1 to 200 releases. Um, probably, probably around what I, what I would expect, excuse me. Uh, but I imagine the Trump 757s are going to be very popular. Um, I remember when Jim and I did it in 1 to 400 last year, just ahead of Airliners International in Dallas. They were pretty popular. I did see a couple of them at one of the tables. I think it was Flyman Models that had them, if I remember correctly. Um, but I think they got bought up. I know I know one guy bought it. I think another one did as well. Both of them are like really close friends. So um, hopefully my memory serves me right on that. But if anyone knows, um, please correct me on it. Uh, the other good release from this set would be the Delta CRJ200 Soren Spirit. I'd like to see if Gemini would do a 1 to 400 release of that, but... They never had the CRJ200 mold back in, like, 2001, 2002 when the livery was unveiled, so I guess that's part of why they never made it in the first place. I should clarify that it is a SkyWest one. I think there was an ASA one that wore it as well, because they had it on a couple different CRJ200s, if I, re if I remember correctly. But overall, a very nice set here from NG, and definitely something that I would consider if it was more on the 1-400 to side, but I'm sure something, uh, someone will find something of enjoyment for their collection. So with that being said, that is the end of the video. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next video.